Michael C. Hall is known for his work in shows like Dexter and Six Feet Under. Well, now he's showing off his musical talent with the glam rock trio, Princess Goes to the Butterfly Museum. And the band joins me now, Michael, Matt, and Peter. Hi, guys. How are you? Great. Hey, thanks. Thank yeah, thanks for joining me. So, Michael, let's start with you. You know, people obviously know you most as an actor on stage, on screen. You're not new to music, but how does it feel to be kind of entering the music sphere with this band? It feels amazing. I mean, it's like one of the most welcome, unexpected developments of my life, like hooking up with these guys and making music in here for the most part. We're in our studio. So how did this whole thing get started? Like, how did the how did the band come together? We all played different roles in the Hedwig on Broadway show. And uh, Matt and I actually went on the tour, which followed the Broadway run. And that was about eight months. And we just were hanging out on the road and we were like, when we get back to the city, let's hang out and make some music. And then we, we started writing all this music and had no vocals. And Mike and I had dinner one night and he came by the studio. I played him some stuff and he wrote some words and sang. And that first song was born and it was just sort of built from there. So it was pretty organic for this band to come. Yeah, together. we didn't really set out to be a band. It just kind of happened to us. So Matt, I understand that Princess Goes to the Butterfly Museum was your daughter's idea. So yes, that that's a that's one version of reality. <laughs> However, that there's another thing that we just came, yeah. Came. Well, I mean, the real longer story is my my family uh, was sort of involved in the Butterfly Museum franchise back in the day. So the the origins are a little bit deeper than Matt's daughter. She 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 sort of picked up on it and put it all together. <laughs> yeah. How does that name encompass who you guys are as a band? I don't know. Somehow when that name came up, it just sounded like it, like you said, encompassed the the stuff we were coming up with. Part of our criteria, when we come up with new song ideas, we try to figure out whether or not it goes into the museum. Yeah. And um, it always manages to fit in there. Yeah, yeah. A lot of things fit in that museum. Let's talk about uh, just kind of what the music sounds like. It's almost like a cool blend of rock and electronic and dance. But how do you guys describe it? We're rock and roll heavy, but then we have a lot of synths, a lot of electronic. You can see it on the back wall over there. But then, you know, we also love campfire sing-alongs. You know? <laughs> well, what has it been like over this past year? Like, what's the workflow been like? Because I imagine it's pretty hard to kind of create music when everyone's social distancing. It's actually easier now than any other time in history. Obviously, the technology is there. So we're all kind of in our own remote spaces working. And then we'll come here to our studio and work together. And, you know, we all tested this morning. We're all tested and whatever. And, and uh, so, yeah, that's been the flow. That's been the vibe. It's been a, yeah. an amazing thing. Yeah, in a way, the, the, the having the band has helped keep us sane during this time because we're able to remotely share ideas and even even construct songs without being in the same room or at least the, the beginning of a song and then yeah. come together and kind of flesh it out. Well, knowing that you all have amazing experience on Broadway, did you ever think about maybe writing something together for the stage? I mean, I wouldn't rule it out, you know? Yeah. We definitely are interested in, in doing some sort of capture of our live show that's more than just a straight up concert video so uh yeah we'll see yeah i mean i feel like princess goes to the butterfly museum is like a great starting point for a musical don't you <laughs> like yeah the first line that's the central character yeah <laughs> know where you're headed there'll be butterflies <laughs> in it somewhere. yeah probably right, some right. columns yeah. Well, Michael, I have to ask you about Dexter, the Dexter revival. I mean, everybody's so excited about this. Have you started production? Have you seen a script? No, we start soon. And I was just, uh, yeah, just visited the set and um, it's real. It's happening. Yeah. How does that feel? Did you ever think this was coming back? Um, I always knew it was a possibility. I, the timing until it was right just never was quite right. And the story never quite came together, but now it is, and now the story has, and we're doing it. And um, I don't know, I've never stepped back into something that has been sort of been, I don't know, simmering in the oven yeah. as, long as this one has. So it's gonna be really wild to go Yeah, back. were you happy with how the finale ended for him? I mean, I thought it made sense, you know, that, that he put himself in that situation, but at the same time, I know that it was, frustrating if not deeply unsatisfying for some yeah. people but you know that um, maybe whetted people's appetite for something that that's a little more um conclusive so yeah. hopefully we'll be able to provide that 
Yeah, well, we all look forward to seeing that again. And just want to let everyone know that Princess Goes to the Butterfly Museum's album, Thanks for Coming, is out on February 12th. Guys, thanks so much for taking the time today. Thank you.